Hey friends, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel for another puzzle vlog or welcome if you are new here. This series is just a very casual video where I just take you along for the next couple days, show you some things that are puzzle related, some things may not be, just a way for me to catch up with you. Also in this video, I do plan on doing the second installment of my 3000 piece puzzle. So they're broken up into four 750 piece quadrants. Originally, I was gonna do like puzzle with me for each one, but we gained a lot of subscribers way faster faster than I was expecting, which is amazing. So thank you so much for joining. I am instead going to be putting it in this vlog. So it's just going to be like a speed through just because for me, it's very, very time consuming editing those large puzzle with me. So um, it wasn't quite in the works for this month. So I am going to show you the second part. As always, I'll leave timestamps down below if ever you want to skip ahead. So I need to get going and do some errands. I just went to the bank and then I need to go to UPS. I want to go to Starbucks. I have my birthday Starbucks drink to pick up. So hope you're all having a fantastic day and let's just get into this. Good afternoon. It is Thursday. I really don't have too much planned today. I just did some errands and I was about to pick up my puzzle table, but I'd show you the before and after. Before? It's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. And what I'm going to start this evening is the second part of my 3000, you can see it there, 3000 piece puzzle from Tracer. This is something that I started in my puzzle with me and I said whenever I got to the next milestone, I would do another section. Well, that came way sooner than I was expecting, so we're going to do that today, um, or at least start it. But it's a long one. So that's the plan and let me show you my puzzle table. Here is the puzzle table. I did this one last night from Ravensburger. It is one of their circle of color puzzles. Let's see, what is it called? It's called Poke Bowl. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was going to be pretty challenging. I know this was part of a speed competition, I think. Um, but I liked it, it was fun. I didn't time myself for this one. I just was doing it last night. Um, also did these bits and pieces that should already be out. I do need to put those away. I also want to do this puzzle soon. It's from Unified Pieces. It's so cool looking, um, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. So I'm gonna pick this up a little bit. And then also I did update this a bit, um, just so you can see the background up close. Got some villager puzzles that I've really been enjoying. Really want to do this one soon from Jiggy. I got this thrifted for like five bucks. It was such a good deal. Um, I have this side I want to do soon because we are going to Disney World at the end of January. Um, I'm going to just show you the rest of the stuff. That one I haven't done yet. Neither of that. That one's Euro Graphics. That one's Elise Brienne Design. And so that's what my current... Oh, this was there, but I just moved that Ravensburger box. So I'm going to clean things up and that will be a little bit better. I wanna get some more like 3D things like this cause it's like fun to switch out on occasion. So I'm gonna clean up the puzzle table and then this evening we will be doing some puzzling. much later and I've already done a little prep work for the 750 piece section. I did the edges. Um, there is one open edge because that is the center line, but I did take the top row of part one so that way I can have an extra border to work with. I did do a little bit of sorting, very similar to what I did in the Puzzle With Me video. So I, of course, did the edges. I also separated out the white. I'll show you the picture. So there's like the Arctic circle up here. So that's what these pieces are. Um, I have land items over here. And then over here we have, of course, the whole bunch of blue. So we have blue with things. So it could be like the edge of a land piece or it could be animals. 
Um, and then over here, we actually really don't have too many like solid blue things or blue with clouds. So I think the hardest section may be this pile here. Um, but I don't know how much I'll get done tonight. Um, started a little bit later than I was in expecting. So I'll do these pieces here and then might work on these, but I think it'll be a good one. Um, definitely looks a little bit easier than the first section. A lot less blue, really fun stuff to work up here. Cause when you look at the first section, it was like 75% blue pieces. So I think this will be not as bad. And so I'm excited about it. Let me see what the other sections look like. Yeah, I feel like part one, maybe part four are the hardest ones just because there's not a lot of land or animals to work with. You're working with like a sporadic amount of birds. But anyways, we already did that section. We're gonna work on this one right now. I'll put on some overhead footage so you guys can see, but I am going to do like a time lapse with music. So that's my plan and let's just get into this. Hello, good morning. It is Friday. It is about noon time. I spent the morning cleaning and doing some work and now I'm about to head out. I'm going to the puzzle library, which is always a fun time. Not sure if they have switched things over. So hopefully I can find a couple things that I can bring home. I always use it for the smaller piece counts just for fun posts and such. So after that, I also think I might go to the mall. Um, need to get some things for our trip. They do have a wishes there. So maybe I'll check out to see if there's anything new. Not like I need any puzzles. Trying to be on a low buy right now, but we'll check things out. I also want to show you where I ended up last night. I didn't get very far. I was pretty sleepy. So um, let me show you the progress. First up though, Oliver just woke up. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, good morning. So I thought I would take you along to the puzzle library and I don't know why I didn't realize I was filming vertically, but here we go. They didn't have too many puzzles that I wanted because they hadn't switched it over from Christmas. They did that this week, but I did end up finding a couple that sparked my interest. I really was interested in getting this one, but I thought the thousand piece was just too much for me right now. And this one also intrigued me, but it looked really difficult, but I never heard of the brand before. So that was my quick trip to the puzzle library. And then afterwards I went to Wishes. This one was gigantic. It was my first time going to this location. I think they have like seven locations in Western Washington. And they had so many good Ravensburger puzzles that were in the 500 piece form, which was very tempting since I do want to do more practice speed rounds. I may go back eventually just so I can stock up because there were so many good ones. You'll see the next one is actually a Barbie one, which was so cute. And their pricing for the Ravensburger is definitely the lowest that I've seen. Their 500 pieces range between $15 and $17, depending on the puzzle, which I think is good pricing. And then their 1,000 pieces range between like 20 and 24 So I think they're pretty reasonable as far as Ravensburger goes, but... They also just have other good brands like Cobble Hill, USAopoly, and it was just tempting to get more than one, but I did end up only going home with one. Can you believe it? Because I can. All right, I am home. Um, I think I did a voiceover so you guys could see me shopping at Wishes and the Puzzle Library. Filming out and about is always just like a little awkward for me, even though I did ask in Wishes if I could film. They were totally okay with that. They even like volunteered to be on film, but I was just showing what they have. There's so many. That location was by far the biggest puzzle selection and I'm surprised I only came home with one. So let me show you everything I came home with. Two were from the puzzle library, one I purchased. First up, here is the first one called A Place in the Woods. 
by bits and pieces. I like that it's like winter, but it's almost like spring is peeking through. So I feel like this one would be super fun. The second one that I have is this 300 piece from Ravensburger. I only picked out the two this time just because it was still all Christmas, but this one just looked really fun and crazy. And like this is the right amount of like chaotic puzzling that I don't mind. And then I did purchase this one. They had a few 500 piece Ravensburgers. Most of them I already had. I don't know if that's a problem, um, but here is this one, which is like this really fun music room. Of course, there's hot air balloons, um, all these different musical instruments. Thought this would be a fun speed puzzling test, um, but it is called, oh, look at that, the music room, very original. So far, my puzzle mail has not arrived. Hopefully it comes today, um, but I will at least see you later tonight when I am doing more of that tracer puzzle. So just checking in, sorry the um, vacuum is going, but I want to show you my current progress. I took a break for a little bit and am about to start the rest of the blue pieces. So this is all I have left of blue with something. And then we're moving on to solid blue, which really doesn't seem like a lot of pieces. So again, sorting by piece shape and then just gonna finish this up. It really wasn't too bad. So this is what it's currently looking like, and it has that same type of gradient that part one had, where we have like this darker bit, moving on to some lighter colors. So very doable, again, not a ton of sections to do, and it'll be fun. So it is Sunday evening. Last night I actually did a puzzle. I'll put it on the screen. I had just done it when I was watching Mamma Mia and it was from Bits and Pieces. I forget the name of it, but again, it's on the screen. It's super fun, just a 300 piece and it went together pretty well. Really have no complaints. And tonight I am going to start a 1000 piece. One of my goals for the year is to do four 1000 pieces a month. So I need to make up 
the time for when I'm gone on vacation. So I'm trying to get into 1000 pieces this week. So I am doing this one from Unified Pieces. I am definitely in the mood for doing something gradient. This one might be tricky because there's like bits of the color in all different places, which might be hard. But I think my plan of attack is to first do this section over here, which is all the greens and bright like neon yellows. Then move into blue because there's very distinct blue areas. And then I'll have to figure out the pink somehow because um, the pink is kind of just like scattered throughout. I think it'll be really fun. I feel like the pictures I've set online made it look a lot more vibrant. So maybe that's the case in the packaging. It's looking a little bit more pastel than what I was expecting. But either way, I'm excited about it. I feel like it'll be a really fun one to do. And so that's my plan. I'm gonna start it now, um, just to do a little bit of the sorting off camera. And then after dinner, I'll probably bring you along with me and like see how far I can get tonight. So that's my plan. Um, I also need to edit a video. I'm editing the bits and pieces one tonight slash tomorrow morning. So that should be up tomorrow. So I was just about to open this and I thought maybe you'd like to see what's inside in case you've never done this brand because they do come with some extras that I think are really cool. So the box is very similar to Villager Puzzles where it opens up with a little magnetic part. Um, inside the pieces come in a velvet pouch, which is just really nice. A um, nice high quality bag with a zipper. This one is green. The other one I had was black. I definitely like the green more. Um, here is the board, and then we have a bigger poster. So there is a difference between the two. Um, this one is a nice size, but not too jumbo. Definitely looks brighter than the box. So that is exciting and then we have this which i think is crucial especially with their box design because this one i mean you can just like set it up there it's completely sturdy um but if you want something maybe a little bit more secure they have these little poster boards so they have little tabs here where you can almost like a picture frame but making this which ends up making it so this can stand up pretty well on its own so it's just like a nice little feature where you can just like have it there in the corner and you can still use the box for pieces if you wanted to also like the poster so i just think it's nice and i'm going to get started with the sorting bit but just thought you'd like to see what's inside the box Hello, good morning. It is Monday. I feel like I haven't like sat down and really chatted with you at all during this vlog. It's been very puzzle heavy. Sorry if I was doing a bunch of time lapses and such, but that's just what I've been doing. I'm just doing a ton of puzzles right now. And I wanted to take a moment to do some mail time with you. Some of it is puzzle mail, which I'm always excited to share. Other things also came that I thought maybe you'd be interested in and maybe you are wanting to find some things like this. So I'm just putting it here in case you're nosy and just want to see what I've been ordering. I feel like I've bought quite a few things recently um, that are just out of the norm for me. So I thought you might want to know. Um, oh my gosh, Oliver is so affectionate today. So he will be joining me here. So if you like hear him or whatever, that's what's happening. Mm. So we just switched out our Christmas mug. So in our garage, we have just like 50 different Disney mugs and we switch them out every like few months. So we just got put back our Christmas ones and we pulled out a bunch to like get us excited for Disney World. And so this is what mine looks like. Um, this one is a Winnie the Pooh one. It says something sweet. I think I got this one for one of Dave's birthdays when we were at Disneyland one time. But it's like this cute little honey pot. This is what the other side looks like. I love it, it's so sweet. It's like the perfect size. Anyway, let's move on to some puzzle mail. First up, we have a pile from Puzzle Warehouse. If you're unaware, I am an ambassador for them and they send me things every few months to use for my blog posts for them. And this time around, I have one game and then a bunch of puzzles. So I wanted to do a game to do like a Valentine's date at 
home style of vlog because I feel like for us, we've always stayed home for Valentine's Day. It's actually Dave's birthday and it's just chaos. Everything's twice as expensive. So we usually do like a low key thing at home and we love board games. So I ended up getting a new game from them called Carpe Diem from Ravensburger. I think it's relatively new. I wanna say it was on the new page for them. Um, very heavy. But I think this week sometime, me and Dave, we want to get into the habit of like maybe once a week or maybe once every other week, we're going to do like a game night at home because we have so many games. I actually pulled out all the games that we have bought and haven't done yet. And it was like 10 new games that are just like brand new, sealed, haven't tried. And so we're going to try to like put that into like our rotation that once a week we'll probably do some sort of game night, even just like, like an hour or two. We got this new game called Mosaic. I got it for him for Christmas. If ever you played like Civilization, we've played it on the PC, but we also have it as a PS5 game. That one is very intense. And I found this game that's like almost identical to it. So I'm excited about trying it, but it looks like it's going to be a lot. Like the amount of pieces in that game is, is a lot. So. We've been trying different board games and I want to get back into the habit of just doing it because it's like such a good, easy, cheap date night. And so I did get that for the blog post. So I haven't done any Ravensburger games. If you have and you have recommendations or games in general, let me know down in the comments. I also bought three others with my Puzzle Warehouse gift card. Those should be arriving probably after this blog is... So the... I also bought three other games from them. I think they're all in their new section. I don't remember, but those will, I'll probably share it on my Instagram stories because they will be coming after this vlog goes up. So I'm just, I'm just excited for game night. Um, I also have another date night idea in this little mail time. So I will show you that in just a second. Um, next up, I'm going to be doing a blog post on Magnolia puzzles since they now are carrying them at Puzzle Warehouse. I love the new box design from them. I feel like it just is really fun. Uh, I will say, so when I got my package from Puzzle Warehouse, I don't know what happened, um, but my box was like completely open. So I did have some damaged pieces. Since I am an ambassador, I did not pay for these. I just let them know to be like, hey, I got some damages. But the first one here, I'm so excited for. So I have been wanting this for ages. It's called the Beautiful Pirate. And look at this. It's so similar to, it's the same style as the Alice in Wonderland one that I did. I also did an Audrey Hepburn one. And she looks at this really fun, very bright, very just like intense color. And I feel like this is going to be so much fun. Um, also, again, look at the box design. So they went from their regular like maroon style boxes to having a little bit of like a blurry image of the puzzle in the background. I kind of like it. Next up, we have Houses I Read. And this one also looks fun. Also, I'm realizing, so Magnolia has their like difficulty level. I don't think I've ever seen anything above a, a three, um, but this one does look, I feel like on the easier side of things. I mean, there is a little bit of a gradient up here. There's lots of hard air balloons and such, which makes me so happy. And I like these really fun um, buildings. So I think that'll be fun. But as you can see over here, my my package got a little, a little beat up. Um, moving on to another month's worth of blog posts. We normally get like two per month for blogs. Um, they did give me only one board game just because of the price point. But um, for the blog post I'm going to be doing, I think I, we, I moved it because I'm moving my date night one for February. This one here is going to be April's. I think I moved it to April. But this is for gradient puzzles. I got two from Clementoni. One is in the smaller box. Um, but it's really fun. It's like this gradient puzzle, but it has like this geometric texture to it. And I love the bright colors. I love that it really only goes deep right here. I feel like this will be pretty easy, but the lines might actually make it a little bit more challenging because it might like throw me off a little bit. We'll see if it makes it easier or harder. And then the final puzzle I have is from their color boom line, which is just, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to love this. I like that it's not like a huge, a huge section of like one color. I know sometimes I've done radiant puzzles and it would be like 60% green and like everything else is kind of just smaller sections. So I feel like it's a good equal amount of color. And again, like that it doesn't go dark. It's much, definitely more on like the bright, vibrant side of things. And then when I was at Wishes the other day, I saw a bunch of these 
color boom puzzles and they all look so much fun. Um, so there is the puzzles. All right, next up we have a bunch of things that's going to sound like I'm like sponsored by one of them and I'm not. I'm just sharing these because Dave and I love doing date night things, but we like to be spontaneous, but also we struggle at figuring out what to do. And so it's like, what do you want to do today? I don't know, let's do something. And it always ends up being like going out to eat, but we always wanted to do something different. So we ended up getting some tools to help us. Um, the first thing was the adventure challenge book. I'll talk about that in a second. But these are other variations that we've used as well. This is our adventure challenge book. So I've talked about it in the past, but in case you're new, this day is what Dave got me for uh, Valentine's Day right before COVID happened. And it came in really handy because during that time, you're always trying to find something new to do. And this gave us like date night ideas at home. They were fun and different and very inexpensive. So this one, again, similar concept, you like scratch off a little thing and it'll tell you like how much it'll be, how long it'll take. You can print off a picture and it's like our little keepsake book. Um, so one of them that we scratched off a long time ago, Dave really wasn't into because it was like, it's a little out of there when you're like, we're supposed to like paint portraits of each other, but we're all supposed to be like dressed in Victorian era clothing and speak like we're from there. And it was just like one kind of expensive to do it that way. And two, we're just, we're oh, it's too far out of our comfort zone. However, we have done some like paint the night or paint and vine type situations. And Dave has really liked doing those, but the ones near us are kind of a little bit further away and they're kind of expensive. So I ended up getting this that just arrived and I'm so excited. So there's a lot of different companies that do like date nights in a box. And again, not sponsored, bought this ourselves, but I got this to fill that card in our adventure challenge book because it's been scratched off and undone for ages and it's and when you're doing those challenges you're supposed to do it like right away and that's one for some reason we just didn't so i wanted to show you what we got okay so it's from the brand painting to go and they have like a paint the night thing but for your house and so i ended up getting one and it ended up being like a pairing so i actually think i have the supplies to do two date nights at home. I forget the price point, but it ended up being a lot cheaper than like going to a place. And this way we can actually like own the products and do it at in the, like the comfort of our house, have like dinner or something right beforehand, do our little date night. So I'm excited for this. And they did give us the email for the video. So you actually do have like a instructional video so you can do your painting. And I think the ones that I did it was called our Love Grows Date Night Painting Bundle. And it's the, the paintings actually go together. So I feel like whenever I've done those paint the night things, it's like you're both doing the same exact painting. This time around, we're each painting one side of the image and then they go together, which I think will be fun and to see how they end up lining up because maybe they don't quite match. I think, it, I think it's just a cool concept. So we have the paints. We do have two because one is for one date night, one is for the other. Uh, it looks like we have our how to use our kit instructions. We have some disposable aprons so we don't get our clothes dirty so we can use these. We have a couple of these palettes for our paints. Uh, it comes with two easels, so little tabletop easels so we can put our canvases on. We have four canvases, which actually are decent size, so that's really nice. And then we have some paintbrushes. These are huge. Um, so we have two sets of paintbrushes. So some things will be reused, like these and this, um, but then they gave us extras so we can do our second date night. I know you could probably all buy this stuff like at Michael's or online and it might be a little bit cheaper. I was looking on Amazon. It would end up being more expensive to do it that route than to just get it already pre-assembled in the box. So I did it this way and I'm excited about it. So again, I'll leave them down below. It's just fun for me and Dave, nothing attached to this, but. And then the final item I have, completely random. You guys know if you've been watching the vlogs that I have, I joined a band. And I play my saxophone for it. And it's a, just like a concert community band type thing. And so there's a couple others in the area. And 
I could definitely play my saxophone for it, but they really don't need saxophones. So I was like, oh, it might be nice, maybe even for next year for the band I'm in, to have like a second instrument, which I do know how to play a lot of different instruments because I did go to school for music education. And so I do know how to play most things, at least to be tested on. Um, I'm probably not like advanced level, but I can like play basic music, you know? But one instrument that I actually am okay at, like it could be my second instrument, is clarinet. Um, I did play it in high school for a few songs, and um, I played it a little bit in college, but I, like once you know how to read music, it's, I feel like a lot easier to pick up another instrument, and so I feel okay with clarinet. Anyways, so that's what I bought. Um, it is a Christmas present from Dave. Did have to exchange it, um, but here it is. It is just a very inexpensive clarinet online, just so I can like learn and get a grasp on it before investing in like an actual like wooden clarinet. So I'm excited for it. I'll leave it down below in case you wanted to try it out, but um, let me show you. It's all wrapped up, but I got a clarinet. So my goal is to learn this pretty well. Um, I did play the first one that we got, um, but the B was not working quite right. I was actually okay. So I could play probably like second clarinet for most of the sheet music that we had from our Christmas concert. So, you know, I'm not the worst, but I'm not the best. I want to show you where I'm at for the puzzle last night. So I was like filming it and I was like, oh, I should probably go to bed. But of course I shut off the camera and had that moment of like, oh, just a couple more pieces before I go to bed. And I did like a whole other section. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I'm really liking it so far. I don't know if I'll finish it this evening, but I'll definitely make a lot more progress. Hi guys, so it is actually the next night and I've been super busy all day. Didn't get around to filming, um, but I wanted to show you the where I'm at with this puzzle. This is the final clip of the video, so it's not the final image, but I just wanted to show where I'm at. You'll see the full image in probably like a roundup video or um, probably on Instagram. But I've been enjoying this one. It's definitely like one of those puzzles that I'm like taking my time with, which I like. Um, but I just wanted to touch base with you because I remembered that I'd never signed off on this video. So I'll show you where I'm at and then we'll call it a day. So here it is, still looking for some edge pieces, um, but making some pretty good progress. I'm definitely in the spot where I am working with lots of shades of pinks and purples, which as you can see here, they're kind of just sporadic. So I'm trying to use the lines and the circles as a guide. So that's my strategy going forward on this, but I've been liking it. so that is it from me i hope you enjoyed this video just some casual chill week in my puzzle life and if i mentioned any puzzles or videos i'll link them down below thank you so much for tuning in if you like these videos please give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys